Oh my god. <laughs> They're fucking crawling on my hands. They're having a race up my arm to my face. Uh oh, this is not getting, this is getting out of hand. Oh god, will you just stop playing with them? What do I do? So we've got a question today in the mat. Do you think swimming has a steroid problem? Are people using steroids in swimming? Well, steroids are easy to get. I went to, remember that video I did, went to the doctors and got some testosterone anthate. Now this is considered the contraceptive pill for men. Testosterone anthate, 250 mil a week, intramuscular. This doctor said take 500 milligrams a week of testosterone anthate, totally 100% legal. All you need to do is bring up any swimming federation, cycling federation, running federation, whatever, and say, hey, my doctor wants me on testosterone, blah, 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 put out some blood tests, whatever. They go, yep, no worries, mate, here you go. Here's your therapeutic use attention form. You can take steroids, 100% legal. Now, there's a list of what steroids you can and can't take, though. You can take the, the basic stuff, EPO you can't take, human growth hormone you can't take, things like that. Let's cut to some swimmers who raised some suspicion. An athlete that raised controversy was Yi Shi Wen, 2012 Olympics gold medalists. Some people were up in arms of her performance, but she looks pretty natty to me. Here are the East Germans who admitted they uh, they slammed it. They weren't full natty, bra. They got on the gear. And that's a physique, that's a steroid physique there. We have the three amigos, Italian uh, on the left here. <laughs> Massa Rosalino had a human growth hormone level of 17 times over the average level. And he says, I don't know what's going on. And that was recorded by the Italian Olympic Medical Committee. And we have Phelps in the middle. Phelps doesn't do anything. He's squeaky clean. He just smokes bongs, apparently. Uh, he wouldn't do performance-enhancing drugs, though. The world's greatest Olympic athlete in history just smokes bongs, apparently. And we have Ian Thorpe on the right, whose coach, uh, Tedenskis, he was busted with a safe full of steroids. Uh, but that really didn't make the media that much, even though it is documented legally. So we have on the left, human growth hormone elevated levels. In the middle, Thelps, just smoking bongs. And on the right, we had Ian Thorpe, who whose coach got busted with steroids in his home safe. But uh, there's no connection there. None of these athletes have ever really tested, but they're all clean. They're basically clean. They wouldn't take drugs. There's no money in swimming anyway. And next up, we have a Brazilian swimmer. This is her before. She's uh, quite lean, sort of fit looking. And here we go after where she got busted for taking steroids. A famous swimming coach once said, we can turn the women into men, but we can't turn the men into fish. And here's a before and after transformation. So it's a bit of a dead giveaway. Um, what's going on here? What do you think? I don't know. What do you think there? Some raising some suspicions. But yeah, this swimmer got busted for uh, anabolic usage. And here we have a famous Australian swimmer, world record beater. This lady here, she beat all the doped up Chinese from the 90s. She smashed their records. This is her after her career. And uh, let's find if we can find a shot during her career. So we can see here we go here. A lot of people sort of said, why is, you know, she looks pretty uh, pretty masculine. Her jaw is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's what's going on there. So, uh, but no, just totally natural. Aussies don't use any gear. We just, we just uh, you know, our coaches might get caught with it in their safes, but nah, full natty bra. Totally, uh, totally legit there. That's just, you know, hard training. Here we have a German superstar. Again, people were like, wow, she looks really like uh, masculine. Do you think she's on any anabolics? Never been uh, never been caught with any, but uh, quite <laughs> quite <laughs> androgenic there. But uh, there you go. So what do you think? We have the physiques of the East Germans here. And yeah, well, there you go. So that's what a steroid physique looks like. And the German team, East German team went on to uh, sue the government for giving them anabolic steroids because if women take too much anabolics, they get some nasty sides. So there you go. What do you think? Does swimming have a steroid problem? I don't think it does. I, I think nobody in swimming takes steroids. Steroids don't even work. You can't even get them. And um, they do drug testing at the Olympics. So there you go.